Perpetual Mommy here today to do a diaper bag review for all of you. This is my Soho Collections Kenneth diaper bag. So the company is Soho Collections and this bag style is called the Kenneth diaper bag. Now before we get into the review of this bag, I want to start by prefacing this and saying that I wasn't sure I wanted to review this bag. Now this company contacted me and I'm contacted by a lot of diaper bag companies, you guys, who want me to do reviews of the bags. And I'm really reluctant to do that for bags that I've never seen in real life, that I've never touched. So this company contacted me and I'm gonna tell you guys right away, I looked at the price point of the bag. They said, check our bag out on Amazon, get back to us, let me know what you think. I looked at the bag on Amazon, I saw the price point, I was like, there's no way. This is going to be a janky, kind of junky bag because the price point you guys this bag retails between 30 and 35 dollars so it's at the much much lower end price point i thought there's no way that i'm going to be able to you know in good faith say that this is a good bag so what i did is i wrote to the company i said you know what i only review higher end bags and i have been looking for a bag to review for people who either don't want to spend the money on a bag that costs more than 150 dollars or they don't or they can't. So either you don't want to because that's not where you'd like to spend your money because I know a lot of people choose to spend their money at other places or you know they just physically aren't able to do so. And so I said to the company, I said, I can't make you any promises. Send me the bag. If I like it, I'll review it. If I'm comfortable with it, I'll review it. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this bag showed up and I opened it up and was blown away, blown away. Like legitimately, I, I told my husband, I told my mom, I said, this bag's gonna show up and I'm gonna donate it. I'm gonna donate it to a woman's shelter. Like there's gonna be no way. And I, I seriously, if I had not seen the price point on this bag, I would think this bag was at least $100. The, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing for what you get. So when we start talking about it, I mean, like legitimately, you guys, when this company sent me the bag, I was like, it's gonna, they're gonna send it, I'm gonna donate it because that's what I do with a lot of stuff that I get is I donate it to a local woman's shelter. So, I, I seriously, like, I, I don't even know where else to go with this, but really and truly, like, honestly blown away. Now, now I have seen a couple of other YouTubers review this bag and I actually stopped watching reviews before this bag came because I thought, I don't wanna be influenced by what other people are saying, but, you know, I would tell you if you like this video, go watch some other YouTubers because Everyone that I saw has been impressed with this bag and pretty much said the same thing like never thought that a bag at this price point could be this quality like absolutely no way. And so what I did when I packed this bag you guys is I really wanted to pack a bag that not counting like the clothes and, and you know the diaper wipes and all that stuff but the actual like pouches and stuff that I packed in this bag. The way that this bag's packed up right now you could do this for about $48 total. So where there's some other companies out there were just buying like the pouches to pack the bag are $50 this whole setup, not counting, like I said, not counting the clothes and the toys and all that kind of stuff, but just the like accessories to pack the bag with, including the bag, is under $50. And like blown away, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about the bag the way that I normally do on the outside, and then we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the inside of the bag. So again, this is Soho Collections Kenneth diaper bag. It can be purchased on Amazon. I will put the link below, but I want to start by the outside. So the very first thing when this bag showed up is I wanted to feel the fabric on the outside because I thought there's no, there's no way, this is the price point, that this bag's <coughs> gonna feel nice. Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. It is like, I'm like, I'm a very tactile person, you guys. So one of my next reviews that's coming up is actually going to be me moving my wallet into like a traveler's notebook wallet. Just because I'm so tactile, I really like the way certain things feel. And this feels really nice. So I want you guys to go ahead and get a really close up shot of the fabric. Now this is a filate free water resistant fabric and it's really, it feels really nice. It's not crunchy at all. It's got a nice heavy texture to it. Um, it just, it feels really, really nice. And then you can see here where the straps are, this is a seatbelt webbing. So this is a really nice sturdy seatbelt webbing. And then you also have the vegan leather trim. This bag has a lot of details that you'd expect on a much more expensive bag. Things like the grab handles with the snap to connect them if you want to do so. Now I will point out right away, one of the things that I did notice because this bag is at a lower price point is that they used plastic zippers. Now I have played a lot with these zippers because I wanted to make sure that they weren't going to break really easy or come off the track. Now I have messed with them for a bit. I've had this bag about two weeks and the, so far the zippers are really good. They're nice and smooth, but they are plastic zippers. So I will tell you out of every feature of this bag, the only thing that kind of right away, if you're familiar with diaper bags that would even indicate to you at all this might be at a lower price point is the fact that it's a plastic zipper. But again, running really smooth. I don't have any fear about packing it, having it come off the track or anything like that. So that's really nice. Then you have a nice big pocket on the front. You have the pockets on the side. 
you have a hidden pocket right here, hidden zippered pocket. Now this is a dedicated backpack bag. These backpack straps are very nice and padded. You also have the padding right here. Then you have a hidden pocket right here at the top that we're gonna go through. And then you have another side pocket right here that also has a zipper right here. Now this is not a separate compartment. This is actually to let you access this pocket if you wanted to put baby wipes or Kleenex or anything like that, you could put them in here and then access them through the zipper. And again, you have this grab handle up top. So very well done exterior of the bag. Has a very nice sleek look to it. And again, the straps are very comfortable. The back is very, very padded. And uh, you know you can put stuff in there and you really don't feel what you have packed up in the bag on your back while you're wearing it. Now let's go ahead and jump on into how I have the bag packed up. Now for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Those of you who have been here before, welcome back. I do pack for two toddlers. I have a just turned four year old and I have a just turned three year old. She just turned three last week, so just three. They are both potty trained. So this is packed up for two potty trained little girls. Now this, this front pocket, your equivalent of your mommy pocket, does have two zipper pulls. Now again, we talked about how this is a plastic zipper, but you can see how nice and smooth these zippers are. So no pulling, no tugging, they're very nice and smooth. And then you have a nice thin mommy pocket right here. There is a zippered compartment right here. I don't have anything packed up in that zippered compartment. And then you have some elasticized pockets on the front. Right here in this one, I do have a hand lotion and a lip oil. And then you have two little pen loops right here, and I do have a pen attached right here. I always like to carry a spare pen with me. And then right here in this pocket, I do have two potty seat covers. These are different ones. This is an extra, extra large potty seat cover, so if you had a really disgusting, like, we're at the gas station kind of potty, that would be for this one. And then I have a just a normal summer infant disposable public toilet seat cover right here. And I'm going to give you a shot of what that looks like in here right now. So you have your elasticized pocket, your pen loops, your elasticized pocket, your opening, and then your zippered compartment right here. Now we already talked about both the bottle pockets on the outside of the bag, but I wanted to show you with my daughter's Munchkin 360 cup how they fit in here. So this is a very large cup, which is why I brought it up. It's bigger than a Funtainer, and I know a lot of people use Funtainers as well bottles. And because this is larger, I thought it would be a good example. So this is a nice generous pocket. I'm just gonna pull the top off right like that. And it goes in very nice and easy. And you can see it totally covers the entire cup and this is a large cup. Moving on to the back of the bag, we do have that zipper compartment right here. Now I don't have anything packed in here. If you were somewhere where you were worried about someone getting into your stuff, you could put your wallet in here, you could put your cell phone here. If you're traveling, you could probably fit a passport in here would be my guess. Um, so it's a nice little pocket to have down here at the bottom. And again, look at this padding right here. This is very, very comfortable against your back. Very comfortable. And then this is the bottle pocket on this side that you can also use for wipes or Kleenex or whatever else you wanted to be able to access with this little zippered pocket right here. All right. Now, oh, let's talk about these really quick too. So this bag actually comes with a lot of extras. And again, for the price point, I'm telling you guys, this bag retails between $30 and $35. For this price point, you get so many extras. One of the extras that you do get are stroller hooks right here. Now these are on plastic hardware, but it is very heavy duty plastic. I don't know if you guys can get in there and see that, but that is very heavy duty plastic. And it is on a swivel clip. So let's go ahead and undo the snap. Now you do have this one hidden pocket right here. This is a very reminiscent of a Jujube Be Right Back top pocket. And in here I have my wallet. So this is a Kate Spade wallet and it's very full. And this pocket is very generous. I'll let you get in there and take a look. You could fit all kinds of goodies in there. You could put a diaper and some wipes in there. You could put your wallet in there. You could put, you know, a whole little, probably a little makeup case if you wanted to top pocket you do have the two zipper pulls one on each side to go ahead and open up the bag and I'm gonna give you a shot of what this bag looks like before I take anything out I'm gonna to try to fold back the fabric to see if I can give you guys a better view now this bag for those of you who are familiar with GGB does pack a lot like the GGB B sporty so it is vertical packing so right on top I just have a Pampers pure 
wipes. I do like to have a lot of wipes with us. My girls are always getting into stuff. I like them for hands, for faces, for surfaces. You name it, we use baby wipes for everything. And this will give you a better look at what the bag looks like packed up. So right here, sitting straight in the middle, is a purse clutch and it actually says Soho Collections right here. This comes with the bag, you guys. So this is included with that $30 to $35 price point for this bag. And what I have in here, and most of you who have diapering kids would probably choose to use this as a diapering essentials, but you could use this as a purse, you could use it as a wallet, whatever you want. But I have it as kind of my um, potty training essentials pouch. So right here is another thing that comes with your diaper bag, you guys. This is a bag that holds the plastic disposable baggies for you know messy diapers or dirty clothes or just trash, whatever you have. And it has a little carabiner, so you can hang it on the outside of your bag. You can hang it here, you can put it inside. Such a great little extra, like little extras just get me going, you guys. I don't know about you, but like travel se sections and Target and places like that I love, and this thing kind of just rocks my world. Then also in here I do have two pairs of socks, one for each of my girls. And I have one change of clothes, so it's a pair of pants, a t-shirt, and a pair of panties in size 5T. This would fit either one of my girls if they needed a change. And then in here, I have a bumpkin. I think this is bumpkin. Yeah, this is bumpkins. So this is the bumpkins pouch. I got these off of Amazon. This happens to be the aerial print. We also have the Cinderella one. It's a pack of three pouches, and I think I got these for $12.95, you guys, off of Amazon. I will link the um, item below in the description box if I can find it. But again, if you're looking for pouches to pack with, these are so cute, and they have the clear front. And in here, I have a couple more of the disposable public toilet seat covers. And then I have a couple of disposable change pads. And the reason I have that is if I had to change either one of the girls anywhere where it was dirty and I didn't want them standing barefooted on a surface, I could stick it down, they could change on it, and then I could throw it away when we were done. Also, if one of them was to have an accident, now my four-year-old hasn't had an accident in years, but if my, my three-year-old was to have an accident, like in her car seat, if she fell asleep, I'd be able to clean the car seat and then stick that down and have her sit on it and not get wet. And that's all I had in here, you guys, but this is a great pouch. Like, if you can see in here, it has two little pockets, slip pockets on the back side that are elasticized. You've got the main zip, and then you have a zippered compartment on the front that I don't have anything in. Now, I figured that would be great for, like, mommy needs when it's your time of the month to put your unmentionables in there. And then it does have a wrist strap. This is not a removable wrist strap. It is attached. Now this is what the bag looks like without that center packed up. Now on the back side right here, you do have a padded laptop area. This does hold up to a 14 inch laptop or iPad. Now back here is I just have some activity stuff. So the first thing is another one of those bumpkin bags. So this comes in a set of three. So the one you saw before was the medium. This is the small and this is our restaurant essentials. So in here, I have a couple of disposable bibs. They hardly ever wear these, but if I was gonna give them something really dirty and they were dressed fancy, I'd put that on them. A couple of the Marley's Monsters on paper towels to clean them up if we ever needed to. And then I always carry, you guys, the disposable table topper mats for when we go out. And then also in that back pocket right there, I have the large piece from that trio set. And this is our activity pouch. And in here, I have, let's see if I can get it out. This is from the Dollar Spot. This is like literally a dollar patch from the Dollar Spot at, Ta dollar spot at Target. I have some twistable pencils, oh, excuse me. I have some twistable crayons. I have a couple of the, you know, multicolored pens. All of this stuff again from the Dollar Spot at Target. I think this whole pouch was $3, $4. A dollar for each pen, a dollar for the, the crayons, and a dollar for the pouch, so four bucks for this. Then I also have a sticker book, also from the Dollar Spot at Target, and two little drawing pads, just plain pads, for the girls to draw on while we're out. And then sometimes I'll just throw in some, you know, plain white printer paper as well. And that was what I had back there in that laptop sleeve, and again, that holds up to that 14-inch laptop or iPad. Now, here on this side, you do have two elasticized pockets and right here on this elasticized pocket I have my simply gilded and I think this was the April subscription box 
I'm pretty sure it's from the April subscription box um, from Sim Simply Gilded. And I do have my Mommy Essentials. So I have some makeup in here. I have a Jujube coin purse with contacts and dental floss and migraine medication, that kind of thing. So this is just my needs. And I just thought it looked super cute. Because you guys know I'm a gray fan. Gray is one of my absolute favorite colors. And there's a little gray on both. Then in the other elasticized slip pocket right here, I do have my mini med kit. Now this one was done by Prepare Kit, the base kit, and I did change it, I added stuff to it. I talk about this in all of my videos, but it's a nice little starter kit, and then again, I added a bunch of stuff to it. But I always like to be prepared. Then there is a zippered pocket. Let me turn this bag around so you can see. There is a zippered pocket right here. And in here, I do have a Jujube coin purse. And in here, I have a poppable hairbrush. And I also have some hair elastics and hair ties for the girls. Both of my girls have very long hair, so we're kind of always doing hair. Now, what I didn't use, but I want to show you guys now that the bag's kind of open, is here on either side, you do have insulated bottle pockets on the inside of your bag. So if you guys can see this, this is insulated with 3M Insulate. So it is a well-known brand that they've used to insulate their bag. So let me go ahead and pack this all back up for you so you can see how easy it is to pack. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you have any questions about this bag, please go ahead and leave them in the description below. But I am seriously amazed that a bag that costs between $30 and $35 could be this quality, could feel this nice, could have all the extras that it has. I just absolutely amazed. So that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.